Okay, so we are going to answer this question. Is there a significant difference between the mean score of the level of satisfaction of the respondents when grouped according to their sex? Or this can also be stated as, is there a significant difference between the mean score of the life satisfaction of the male respondents and female respondents? If you want it to be written in objective form, it can also be stated as to compare the mean score of the level of satisfaction of the respondents when grouped by set. So let us consider again the hypothesis testing. Step one is to state the HO and HA. So what is the HO? There is no significant difference between the mean score of the level of satisfaction of the respondents when grouped according to sex and the alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference between the mean score of the level of satisfaction of the respondents when grouped according to their sex. So the level of significance is 0 0.05. Let us also set now or identify what are the possible tests for our data. So in doing that, we need to figure out if these are uh, satisfied in our data. That the purpose is to compare the means of two independent samples or two independent groups, that it is at least interval, and if the data is normally distributed, because we need, of course, to consider more powerful tests, and that is the parametric test. So given that we have two options here, whether we're going to use CTES for independent samples or man with new test, as much as possible, we wanted to use CTES for independent samples. Okay, so let us consider uh, the first requirement. The purpose is to compare the mean of two independent groups. So going back to our main objective, we will compare mean score when group according to sex. So we have two independent groups. The two independent groups includes the male and the female groups. And then our data is at least interval because we're going to consider the mean score. Next, let's check if the data is normally distributed. So there are several descriptive statistics that are available to check for normality, but we are going to consider inferential statistics, and that is the kolmogorov smirnov test. So let's go back to our... Okay, so next, we also need to consider, of course, the test of homogeneity or equal variances assumed. So to do this, we have to consider online calculator to check for the normality uh, if the data is normally distributed, and also to check if the variances are equal. So we have the Levin's test of homogeneity. So let's go to our data. So this is our data. The first thing that we need to do is to sort first our data. So we will sort this according to sex so that all the scores for female and for male will be in um, will be arranged. So let us consider sorting it. So just click sort and then sort by sex and then okay. So we can just easily copy all the uh, scores for male and all the scores for female. So this is now sorted. And then let's go now to our online calculator. So to use for our online calculator, so let's go to a kolmogorov smirnov calculator. So this is the test for normality. What we need to do is to make sure that both data set are normal. So let's consider the data set first for male group. So you have to copy and paste it in our data, control V, then click calculate. So based from this value, again, it is above 0 0.05. 
And as indicated here in the initial interpretation, our data is normally distributed. So let us also check for our female. So we can actually open another calculator for that. And then copy the data set for female. So the scores aligned with our code 2 until to the last data. So copy and paste it again in our calculator. Then click calculate. So the data for female is also normally distributed with p value equal to 0 0.52666. We can report that here. So male by KS. P value is equal to 0 0.58023. That's for male and P is equal to for female group. Zero point fifty two six 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 for male and female groups respectively. Okay, so our data is at this interval and it is also normally distributed. However, if our number of data set or the number of sample size is at this 30 and it is equivalent for the two group, we can actually use the central limit theorem to justify that the data is normally distributed. So by checking now, the number of male and the number of female here or we can just go back to our data or come up with our histogram so let us do that data analysis histogram select our data for sets our bin is one and two so this is already used in our other videos then click Okay, so as uh, shown in this table, we have 50 males and 50 females. By central limit theorem, if our data is at least at least 30, and these two groups now is approximately equivalent, we can say that it approaches to It approaches to normal by central limit theorem. Which means uh, you will just uh, check or you, you will just use the Kolmogorov Smirnov test if your data set is less than 30 or if our data set is not approximately equivalent. The next, you also need to check for the test of homogeneity or if equal variances assume. So we have to go back to our data again to copy number our data set and then uh, let's see our online calculator for that. We will use the homogeneity of variance so this test. So we have sample 1 and sample B. So we will copy the data again 